Hey, what's up? Chaz here. Today, we are going to find out what makes Jasper faster. That's right. I just rhymed, and we're going to hang out with Jasper Okleon. He is a Dutch cyclist, former continental pro rider, turned gravel pro. Let's go find Jasper and see what makes him faster. All right, we've just been rolling out of town on the pavement. This is the first turn of the race. There's going to be 1,500 people taking this turn tomorrow. Now it's just me and Jasper. So when you're racing, do you think about like the first turn and things like specific choke points where it could be like dangerous or stressful or when you enter a race, are you just more like big picture? No, no, no. I'm always, uh, I have a plan and I'm trying to prepare in my mind how the race will go. Uh, the race situations and the, the points where you definitely want to be in front. It's so difficult, especially in a 10 hour race, you can't be like in the front for 10 hours. No, but you also don't want to get stuck in the back at the wrong moment yeah. and have to burn all your matches to catch back up. That's true, that's true. But if you, there are also places where it might be better to be a little bit back and save energy. Yeah. And then just move up just in the right time to be in front where the, where the, where the race ha is happening. Yeah, know? yeah, definitely. Like in the last 500 meters. <laughs> <laughs> the keen eye may notice that my man here is running the new mountain bike transmission group on a gravel bike. I have never seen that. What's up with that? Yeah, I like to have a really like a solid setup, especially for unbound. So you are sure you can trust it. You have a good uh, clutch, you have a good resistance for rocks. And what I also like about the new setup is when I'm on top of the climb, there you can really open up the gap and I can like really keep pushing when I'm shifting up from the light gear into the heart. You ever wonder what the pros, pros to pro dudes ride when they're gonna race a 200 mile gravel race? I'm here to tell you. Cause we've got Jasper with this speed machine. My dude, you are riding probably one of the coolest gravel bikes I have ever seen in my life. <laughs> Why don't you run me down? What's going on? What are you, what are you riding right now? Yeah, I'm actually riding on a prototype. It's a prototype of a new Kenyan uh, grill that uh, has to be released. So uh, it's pretty cool. I'm pretty proud to, to be one of the first to test it and give my feedback to the guys. Uh, it has an integrated cockpit, but with uh, some flare, so it's like... It, look at that, that's crazy. That's a lot of flare. I want to talk about the wheels, man. What yeah. What do you have for wheels? What are you running right now? I'm running the Zip 303 Firecrest. Uh, they have a wide internal uh, rim of uh, 25 mils, so it makes your tire a little bit wider, have some extra volume. And what I like about the rims also is that the top is, is round, you know? They used to have like really, really uh, sharp rims. But then with a the, with the crosswind, you got like the draft in the back and it's harder to handle. But these wheels you can handle with, with any crosswind. Wow, so you could, so the older rim style, you could actually feel it like grab and pull a little bit. And yeah, this yeah, just yeah. feels like real yeah. stable. It's, it's more difficult to, to stay straight with crosswinds and these wheels are like perfect. So you, you, you see they're optimized aerodynamically for different angles of wind. I'm running 40 mil uh, Swalby uh, RS tires. Um, they won last year, so yeah. uh, <laughs> it's not a bad they're definitely this year. fast. They see, I mean, so you've got like no knobs up here. This is just for super fast rolling. But when you do have to take these 90 degree turns, you've got some pretty heavy knobs for when you've got a turn. Kind of the best of both worlds, yeah? Yeah, and uh, yeah, there's actually one of the knobs, the longer one, that's also designed for, especially in the back wheel. So when you're standing up in a steep climb and you're trying to push the water down on the back wheel, that small knob is giving you some grip on the side. So Ooh, when you're like climbing and standing. Oh, because you're rocking. Yeah. Of course, you're moving the bike otherwise like this. You, yeah, otherwise you will be slipping and then you can just push. So what gearing do you have right here? You've got a 48 and then what's the rear? Uh, 5210. And come from MTB, MTB pedals, you know, safe, no risk. If you have to walk, you don't have to be scared that your plastic cleats are gonna break or you can't clip in again. And uh, especially when it's gonna be muddy and there will be, and when there will be guys on the road pedals. There will be mud and there will be some guys on road pedals. <laughs> They, they will be dropped after yeah, they when they have be, to click in again. They will be bummed on it. <laughs> All right, so we were talking over coffee and he, my man was talking about his sock company, but did you know that he makes the world's fastest sock? The fastest sock on the planet. Fast, yeah. And it's not like a tagline. This is actually testing. How many different socks did you test in the wind tunnel? We tested like all the aero socks that are like available currently on the market. And then we compared it to like 20 different samples that I made based on uh, scientific research to aerodynamic flows and uh, and possible strategies. So again, this is not some tagline, like, oh, we make the fastest sock in the world. This is like, Jasper has probably tried on hundreds of pairs of socks in the wind tunnel, actually tested it. And then you were even telling me that 
there's not actually the fastest sock in the world. Yeah, there's that's not true. one. That's true. That's true. When we when we got the results and we tried to be as transparent as possible and tell the true story, so that at, at least like me that, that that make the decisions based on performance can really trust our advice. And then our conclusion was that at every different for different speeds there's a different sock was faster. So then we decided to launch like three different models. One for sprints, one for time trial and one for road racing. And the brand is called Sokoloon. So my last name with an S in front. Akaloon and Sokoloon? Sokoloon, yeah. You heard it here first. Jasper, not gonna say Sokoloon, but Jasper Akaloon makes the fastest sock on the planet. I mean, I got I got dirty white socks on. I was trying to rock the vibe a little bit because the white white socks is definitely pro, yeah. but that's that's like real pro. So I'm like, not pro, real pro. This is Chaz and Jasper. We just talked about creating the fastest sock in the world, which is actually not an easy thing. You've been doing it for 12 years, right? Yeah. 12 years, fastest sock in the world, preparing for Unbound, racing the UCI Gravel Worlds. If you have any questions for Jasper, drop them in the comments. Make sure to like, make sure to subscribe, but this is Chaz and Jasper making you faster.